A few weeks ago, we took a poll on our Facebook page and on Twitter to see what you guys would like for an Earth Day episode. The result was overwhelming. Almost every single one of you wanted an episode on urban gardening and window boxes. I love shopping at the green market, but a great way to support both your wallet and the environment is to plant your own herb garden. So for Earth Day, I'm going to plant my own herb garden. This week on Working Class Foodies. I'm a total gardening novice. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I went to the farmer's market to buy some started plants, and I asked a farmer for some advice on how to keep them alive. They only put one pack per box, one pack so per three box? plants per box. Other than that, just make sure they're in the sun as much as possible. Okay. Check the soil every day and make sure it's spongy. And the only thing is with these, mm -hmm. don't let them flower. Don't if let you them see flower? a stem coming up from the middle, get that stem out immediately. Okay. Otherwise, it'll shoot, and then that's the end of it. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, it's time to head home to make our window boxes and do some backyard gardening. I found some great old wooden boxes out by the garbage that were perfect to plant my window boxes in. I just drilled some holes in the bottom to let the water out. If you don't let the water drain out, the roots of your plants can actually mold or rot, which obviously means your plants won't last very long. I lined the bottoms of my window boxes with some potting soil, and then I unpacked my started herbs. I mushed around the bottoms of the little plant packets to sort of loosen the soil, and then very gently pulled the plants out by their stems. And I kind of mushed the dirt around a little bit to free up the roots of the plant, pushed them down into the potting soil, and pushed more potting soil down on top of them. I planted my oregano, rosemary, and thyme together in one box, and in another box, thyme and sage. Now, of course, you don't have to buy a planting box, and you don't have to be lucky and find an old one on the street. You can use just about anything. For example, I used some old tomato cans. Just cleaned them out thoroughly, drilled holes in the bottom for the water to run out, and filled them with potting soil. They were perfect for my Spanish spearmint and basil. It's important to remember to give the plants plenty of room to grow. Even if you have a backyard, a window box is a great way to cultivate herbs. You can move the box around easily so your herbs will always get the best sunlight. Make sure to keep the soil moist, but not wet. Yellow leaves means you're overwatering. Dry or brittle leaves means you're underwatering. So keep checking back over the next few weeks to see if we can keep these plants alive. If you don't think you're ready yet to start your own window box herb garden, or if you don't think you have enough sunlight, that's fine. There are still many other ways you can participate in gardening. You can join a community garden. There are all sorts of resources online to track one down in your community. You can even join a CSA. Most CSAs actually require their members to spend a day or two a month helping out on the farm. So it's a great way to learn some basics for gardening. Yes, there's a little bit of work involved in planting an herb garden, but it is well worth the cost. Anytime you need any of your favorite herbs, they're right there, right in front of you. You don't have to go to the supermarket and spend $2 on some herbs that you're only going to use a pinch of and then are then going to dry out and just go to waste. If you grow your own herbs, you're not going to waste any money because you only take what you need and the rest just keeps on growing. Because I planted my herb garden in old boxes and cans, I didn't have to pay anything for planters. I bought started plants, which can cost a little bit more than seeds, and of course I bought potting soil. Altogether, I spent $10, which is not very bad considering that that's only five bunches of herbs at the supermarket. Plan to spend between 10 and 20 if you need to get a planter box, but try to be creative and use things that you have lying around your house. I'm sure some of you are much better gardeners out there than I am, so write in if you have any ideas, or any suggestions. Maybe we can start a whole little working class gardening community, help each other out. Let us know what you have growing in your backyard or your window box. If you're part of a CSA, let us know what your farm commitment is, and just let us know what you're doing for Earth Day this year. And we'll see you next week on Working Class Foodies. Mm -hmm.